Hi everyone, my name is Jason Boone and on this week's episode of Friday Features, I'm gonna be doing some dynamic styling of my non-image raster data. Now the data set I'm using in this example is from the Bureau of Transportation Statistics. I'm specifically looking at aviation noise in the state of California. If you'd like to download this data set, just follow the link in the video description. Right down here, I'm going to download this. Continental US Aviation Noise for 2020. Once I extract the zip file, I can dive down into the subfolder here. You can see there's rasters by state. And I'm gonna go grab the GeoTIFF for the state of California. And all I need to do is simply drag it and drop it directly on my felt map. And with the powers of Upload Anything, it's gonna get done. The data was successfully uploaded, so now I can zoom into California and start to see some of this raster imagery. I'm gonna zoom in on a specific airport here. Now on the right in this legend, you can see the new data set. I'm gonna click on edit. We can see two main sections here. We have general and raster, and there's not a lot of options under raster. That's because under general, the type is set to image. I need to switch this to the new color range option right here. That's gonna open up some very cool new tools. Down here, we have this color dropdown menu. If I open this up, you'll now see a plethora of different color palettes from which I can choose. I'm gonna grab this one right here. It's very beautiful. I also have this new section here called steps. I'm gonna click on this dropdown menu here that says continuous. So at the top under method, this is showing us the data classification method. We have the range here, we can exclude values. We have this histogram, which I can grab. And as long as we're in continuous mode, I can manually move this around, change the look. I can also customize these colors of the various classes. Now, if I wanna change the data classification method, I just go to the drop-down menu here and I could switch this to something else like Jinx. And now I can manually change the steps. So let's say we wanna add more steps in there. I can even exclude values if I need to. Right here you can click add value to exclude. And there's even an eyedropper tool if you wanna manually click on the screen of the map to exclude something. And then of course you can customize anything you want down here if you wanna customize a specific color of a class. You click on it, you can manually type in the hex code or you can use one of these presets here. You can also adjust the opacity right here. So very, very cool. Now I'll go over here to my data layer library and I'm gonna search under infrastructure. You'll see a data set for airports. I'm gonna click on that. That will automatically add all of the airports, which actually I don't want. I just want this Stockton one. So I'm gonna click on Stockton and then click right here and just convert this to an element. And now to see that, I need to go to view and select list. There we go, we now have the Stockton metropolitan element. And under here for airports, I can just turn those off now. And I'll click on this and maybe switch this to white. And there we go. Now we have a little visual here. Well, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you'd like to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you really like the content and you wanna get a notification every time we upload, be sure to switch it over to all notifications. And if you wanna check out more Friday features, go check out our Friday features playlist. I link to that down in the video description. See you in the next one.